Hello there, Nessie Cakes, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my vinyl figure collection to share with you. Now, when people hear vinyl figures, they automatically gravitate towards the Funko Pop brand. And don't get me wrong, I love that brand. I love how detailed they are, but I also have a few other uh, vinyl figures that aren't from that brand, and I cannot wait to get started, so let's do so with my very, very first Funko Pop that I ever received. It was a gift from my husband during the time that Finding Dory came out, and it is my favorite character from that movie, Hank, and I absolutely love this figure. This is the one that started the collection. When I received this, I kind of lost it. He is so cute and so detailed. He's two-toned, just like in the movie where the yellow goes up into the orange. He's got his scowl. He's got the coffee pot that he keeps Dory in, and if you look really close at it, it almost looks like it has water in it. On the bottom, all of his tentacles have suckers, and each one of them are raised. And you know how they keep calling him a septopus in the movie because he only has seven limbs? Well, the Funko Pop only has seven limbs too, and I love this pop. Next pop I'm gonna share is another one of my favorites from, uh, they had a series of different Disney characters inside of movie clips. So this is the one that I chose, and it is Cruella de Vil in her road rage scene. And I love this pop. Look at her face. She's got the swirls in her eyes to show how manic she is chasing after the puppies with this wonderful grimace, her high cheekbones, love her. But the reason why I love her so much is not only because she's amazing, but look at her car. It is a huge size pop. Her car is very detailed. It shows the headlights like in a slant. The, the, the points on her bumper almost look like teeth, like a demon. Each one of her hubcaps has a CD on it for Cruella de Vil, even her spare tire. So this is a really cool pop. Next pop I have is another one of my favorite villains, and it is the Lord of the Underworld, Hades. And I love me some Hades. I just love James Woods. I love this pop because it, just his face with that raised eyebrow just says everything. He's got almost transparent plastic as his hair, so you can kind of see it in, but you can kind of see it like, I don't know, maybe in greater le relief if I put my hand up like that, but it's almost see-through to show the, off the flames. His cloak has all the swirls. He's got the skull pin to pin his, um, his robe on, and my favorite part of this pop is his hands in the finger pyramid of evil contemplation. Absolutely love this pop. Next pop I have to show you is from a Funko Pop swap, which I also have um, linked down below if you wanna check it out, from my uh, little brother Jamie from Jamie's Disney Kingdom. He swapped this one with me, and this one is Tamatoa. I love this pop. He is so detailed. All of the bumps on his claws are raised. You know, you can see all the barnacles and on his teeth and on his chin. He's got that sly look like he's getting ready to sing at any moment to talk about himself. He even has the missing leg and all the treasure on his back complete with Maui's hook. Love this pop. So detailed. Next pop I have to share these are the ones that are mostly boxed, but I will take them out of the box to show you, and it's another one of my favorite villains. This is from the Little Mermaid 30th Anniversary Edition, and it is Ursula with Flotsam and Jetsam. That's even better. And I just absolutely love it. I kept the box because I just love the box because it shows it shows where it says 30 year anniversary. It's got all the other ones from the same collection. Now, if you've noticed, I'm gonna take her out of the box so you can see her. If you notice by the pops that I've already shown you so far, I don't really have collect full collections per se. I just really collect the figures that really that I really, really like or that I just find just too adorable for words and I just have to have. All right, and here is Ursula looking amazing with her hair, raised eyebrows, that kind of like sly face that she has when she knows she's winning. She's got her necklace, she's got her Nautilus shell, shell earrings, flotsam and jetsam as a boa around her neck. Also, her tentacles have every sucker available and they're raised. It is awesome. I mean, look at just how 
amazingly detailed these are. I just, I can't get over it. Okay, I'm just gonna put her in her little plastic. I'll box her up back later so I can share the rest of these with you. This one was also a gift from a friend of mine. This one was from Melanie from Little Pink Peppercorn on um, Instagram. She also has her own Etsy shop, which I will link down below. She's an amazing friend, and she found me the exclusive three-pack of the Hitchhiking Ghosts in blue chrome. I love this set so much that I had to keep it in the box. It even shows the rest of them in the back. This series went so hard. I mean, everybody had to have it. And I'm, I'm not gonna take this out of the box for you, but look, Phineas and Ezra and Gus, each of them so detailed in this beautiful blue chrome. I loved this. I mean, I actually squealed in the video when I, when I unwrapped it. I still can't believe that I own it. Next one I'm gonna share with you is from the same collection because I actually kind of lost my mind like everybody else with the with the Haunted Mansion ones because it was just so amazing. I got me a Madame Leota. Now, this is awesome and I keep her in the box because I actually got her when she was on sale over at um, Hot Topic. She was only like $7. Her box is a little crushed and if you can tell, the plastic is very movable. But I kept the box anyway because it has the beautiful print of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper and the 50th anniversary logo on it. But I'll take her out so you can see her because she is awesome. She did also come in a glow-in-the-dark version, but I think that was exclusive to the Pop in the Box company. I, I want to say it was Pop in the Box. Oh, I mean, every time I unwrap her, I just, I kind of got to take a deep breath because it they are just so awesome. Look at her, you know. She's complete with the table, her candles. You can actually tell that it's her, uh, Madame Leota's head in Funko Pop form with a plastic ball on top. So it's very three-dimensional, very, very cool. I still have friends of mine that are looking for this pop. And then my last one from the Funko Pop collection. I've got, I received this from another friend of mine from work, David Paul and his wife Bridget, and they gifted me Constance Hatchaway or the Bride. Once again, kept her in the box because of the awesomeness of the box. I think I'm only two, yeah, two figures shy of having the whole set. So I might just finish off, but look how cool this one is. Because she's a ghost, she's also in that clear plastic iridescence like um, like Hades' hair was, but I love it. It is so detailed. Her, her veil almost looks like my ponytail. Look how high it is. It's so awesome. She's very detailed. She's got that look. She's got her, you know, that devilish look. She's got her hatchet in her hand. Her veil almost looks like there's movement to it. Love this pop. Thank you again, David and Bridget, for gifting me this pop. Most of these big pops, by the way, I just now noticed, I haven't showed you that they actually come with little plastic stands like this. So when you do take them out of the box, which I've just dropped, you can kind of stick her on the stand like that and she can stand up straight. Most of these are very top heavy because of their heads. So you're gonna need that little stand. I swear every single video I do, you see the top of my head. So enjoy again, guys. <laughs> All right. Next pop I'm gonna share with you. These are kind of a collection, like a whole series, okay? But you'll see why when I show you the first one. And the first one is my favorite character, Forky. Isn't he absolutely adorable? I mean, I collected pretty much every single pop figure that had Forky in it. And I'll show you what I mean in a bit. But I actually have two Forkies. This one was a gift from a friend of mine named Dee Dee, my sister from another mister. She gave me this one in a swap and I absolutely love it to the point where I didn't touch it, didn't take it out of the box. I just look at it, admire it, because I think it's so awesome. But never fear, because since I love my Forky so much, 
I have another one that I actually took out of the box. This one is a little bit different because it didn't come with one of those stands, but it is very top heavy. It is just too cute. I want to say the only Forky that I am missing is the Sad Face Forky, but hold on guys, because I have it in my basket in Amazon. I'm just waiting for payday. So there he is. Isn't he absolutely adorable? The only gripe that I have is that I wish he had googly eyes instead of just the, you know, original Funko all black eyes. I just think it would be so much cuter with uh, googly eyes. But he's even got Bonnie on the bottom and his rainbow sticker on his foot. You just, how can you not love Forky? And here's another figure that has Forky in it. This is Woody carrying Forky. Remember when he's like, carry me? No. <laughs> I just love that part of the movie too. But look how absolutely adorable it is. It is Sheriff Woody. He has Bonnie written on his, um, his boot too. If you look actually at the very, very bottom, I don't know if I'll be able to share with it with you. But on his popsicle sticks of Forky, it also says Bonnie. That's how detailed these Funkos are. But I absolutely love this guy. Another one of the Forky collection is Gabby Gabby with Forky. And this is during their scene where she's teaching him how to play hide and go seek to catch Woody so she can get his voice box. But I just love the expression on uh, on Forky's face and Gabby Gabby is awesome. She's actually one of my favorite non-villain villains. I love her. And that was it for my Forky collection, but oh, I just love Forky. But I do have a few more Toy Stories since we're on the subject. I've got me, this one doesn't come out of the box guys because this one's very important. I've been wanting this one for so long and then I found them on sale for like $4. Lost my mind, add to cart. This is Mrs. Nesbitt. Buzz is Mrs. Nesbitt. So absolutely adorable. It does have his arm, you know, like off of his body with the teapot in it. I just love this scene when he's all like, gone! All those years in the Academy wasted. I mean, I just love that scene. So I got me a Mrs. Nesbitt. And my last one from the Toy Story series is Bunny and Ducky. You can't really have one without the other. Now, they do have another series of these. These are just the plain Bunny and Ducky, but they have another one that is flocked, so he f they feel like stuffed animals. But I just love how adorable this is. I'm going to start with Bunny because I think he's the most um, detailed as far as the character goes. He does have his hand out to hold Ducky. On the back, he's got his tag, and on the front... He's got the hook that holds him onto that rack that they have he's hanging on. And look at his whiskers. So absolutely adorable with his little butt buddy, Ducky. And Ducky, he, he's kind of like the little hanger on his arm, so he doesn't have any tags or anything like that. But I just loved his face. I mean, you can actually almost hear him saying, to infinity and my foot, you know? <laughs> just love those. Okay, next kind of collection I have is from Onward. And these ones don't come out of the box because they were actually nice enough to throw in box protectors with these. And I got me the set of Ian Lightfoot and his brother, Bailey. And I love these so much. I absolutely fell in love with the Bailey character when I first saw this movie. Um, He's such a fanboy. And when I was younger, I was a fa kind of fangirlish as well. Not necessarily for Disney, but I played d and I played Vampire the Requiem. I played uh, The Masquerade. I played all those dice rolling games that have the books of lore and stuff like that. So when he came out, I was like, yeah, there you go. This is like my twin, my spirit animal when I was y younger. I love barley. And since he's in the box, there is going to be a smidge of a glare, but he does have his vest on with all the patches and buttons. He does have the Quest t-shirt on, little stubble on his chin. He does have his cast, and he's holding the Book of uh, Dior. Ian is holding on to the father's staff, and he has that kind of perplexed look on his face that he does throughout the movie. But I absolutely love this character. I loved his gumption. I love the fact that 
when I was in high school too, I would wear my one of my daddy's sweaters as well. So we kind of have that in common. Love that. Such a good movie. If you haven't seen it yet, guys, it's on Disney Plus. Go stream it. It is so good. For the people of overseas in the UK, I don't know if it's available to y'all just yet, but hang in there, guys, because it's coming. Next one from the Onward series is my other favorite character. She's been sitting over my shoulder the whole time, and it is the mighty Manticore. And I fell in love with this character. I don't want to ruin the movie for people that haven't seen it, but she's basically like a manager of a restaurant. And I used to work for a restaurant too, so... It, it the what she said and everything like that, I kind of bonded with this character and she's absolutely adorable. I went ahead and took her out of the box so you can see her. She's got her dreadlocks, her wings, scorpion tail. Her nails are painted. She's in her work uniform and she has her sword. And look at that face, like she's just ready for adventure. I mean, how can you see this and not smile? I love it. The best part about this pop too is that if you look at her upper arm, she has her tattoos showing. That's great, I love it. Oh gosh, I absolutely love this movie so much. I mean, I it's already for sale over here in America, so I bought it even though it's free on Disney Plus. But something about having a hard copy of the movie, you just, you, you, it's awesome to me. Okay, next one I'm gonna show you is what I consider the grail of Funko Pops, okay? It's just because she is one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite villains, and she also has my name, which y'all know who it is, and I know Cassidy knows because she is a Funko Pop twinsy of mine. It is the Pop in the Box exclusive of Ursula as Vanessa. I mean, when I saw this, I saw this on Instagram from a friend of mine named Catherine in Wonderland. She posted this picture and I literally DM'd her immediately and I'm like, where did you get that? I need it in my life and I have to tell 20 other people that need it in their life as well. And she's like, oh, it's, you know, it's the very first time I've heard of pop in a box. I'm a little late when it comes to stuff like that. But she's like, yeah, we have a UK version. We have an American version and you can go ahead and pre-order her. She's not available just yet. She's available now, guys, and look how gorgeous she is. She's in her purple dress, holding on to her shell necklace where her voice is coming from. Her long, flowing, beautiful brunette hair is showing. And look at that expression with those arched eyebrows. I love this pop. And I know Cassidy does too. I remember when I sent her the video, I first I sent her the picture and I just said, girl, look what I found. And then all of a sudden there was a FaceTime video of her going where, when, how, how much, let me know. Who, who do I have to kill? What kidney do I have to sell? And I'm like, girl, I'll send you the link. We both got it, best day ever. And I also have this is from the Snow White's 80th anniversary edition, and of course, it's my girl Snow, and I love this one because if you look at the side of the box, it's got the well, and if you saw my engagement story video, which I'll, if you want, I'll link that down below as well, you'll know how important the well is to me. I love this pop. She is so cute. I just love Snow White. And she is adorable and life goals. She actually has the little bird resting on her finger. One of these days that'll happen for me. I've always wanted that to happen. But look how cute she is with her rosy cheeks and her expression, her little black bob hairdo. Look, even at the bottom, there's her shoes poking out and she's giving everybody a friendly little curtsy. So adorable. I know I keep repeating myself, guys, but really, these Funko Pops are just too cute for words. Now, I only have one more Funko to share, and then we'll move on to the other companies. But this one is a park exclusive. And I saw this from another friend of mine's on Instagram. Her name is at Banger, Susan. But I saw this, and I kind of lost it, and I'm like, Ooh. Let me have it, I need it in my life. She says she saw it on Shop Disney 
and I got lucky enough to have not only a coupon code, but she was on sale, guys. I just love me a sale. And it's red from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, I do love me red. I love the new red, but I miss the old red. You know, we wants the redhead, brings back the redhead. But you know, it does show beware of the redhead on the back. She is in the exclusive uh, line of the park figures, but you can get them mailed to you. And she's super detailed as well. She's holding on to her musket with her boots sassily on top of a, a big uh, barrel of rum. This is one of the few Funko Pops that I have that actually have lips. So that's really super cool too. I love that, her beauty mark. She's got all these pearls and stuff hanging from her belt, super cool. She's got her feather long in her long hat, her red hair. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful pop. I knew when I saw it, I had to have it. Thank you, Banger, for showing me this. And since that was the end of the Funko Pops, now it's time to get down to the other series. And this other series that I have is called Ooshies. And I found this set over at Five Below, but I'm sure you could probably find them at other stores or even the website. But they look just like Funko Pops. Look how absolutely adorable they are. And this is series one from the Frozen 2 movie. This is Olaf. And I think Ushis are more geared towards smaller children. I just love it. I think they're so cute. Look at his face. Absolutely adorable. And of course, you can't have Olaf without the rest of the crew. So I did give me a Kristoff to go with it. And I know you can't feel it, guys, but trust me, these are very heavy. I did get Elsa. Look how pretty she is. I just love her face. They're so kawaii. And can't have Elsa without her sister, Anna. And they are so cute to me. Now, this is actually the full series. I got lucky enough to see it all at once. But there is another on, uh, there is another Elsa one available that's covered in glitter and she's like the sparkle travel Elsa. This is just the regular travel Elsa. But I just think these were so cute. I just had to have them. So, Ooshies. Another vinyl figure that I have from just a random collection is from Mr. Potato Head. But it's also my favorite character, Forky. How cute is he? I absolutely love it. Now, if I did take him out of the box, all of the pieces are removable just like a regular Mr. Potato Head, except for the face. So that's what makes him forky. Big eye, the blue mouth, the whole nine yards. But you could take, you know, the, the popsicle stick legs off and the fork hat and the arms, and then you'd have them as a res regular Mr. Potato Head. They do have these in a full series and also different characters. I know I saw... They had a Darth Darth uh, Vader one, but they call it Darth Tater. So cute, and you know me, I love a pun. Now, the last series I'm gonna show you, and if Brittany from Walt Life and Salt Life ha knows, she started this, and I'm sure she's very much sorry, not sorry, girl, but she started this addiction. And once again, I dropped one of them on the floor, so excuse me one moment while I pick it up. But this is called the Disney Remix. And it is the most adorable thing ever. It is the little green men from the Pixar's Toy Story dressed up as other Disney characters from the Pixar family. I, she got herself the first set. I saw it and I was like, need to have it in my life. As a matter of fact, if you find me this specific character I'm gonna show you, Buy it, I'll pay you back, send it to me, okay? Now, I was just, these are Target exclusives, so I was cruising around a Target, and I found the one that I wanted. After I bought it, sent her a picture, and she's like, yay, and I'm like, no, not yay, because now I gotta go to 12 other Targets to find the rest of the series. She laughed at me, but I have them, and I couldn't be happier, and this is the one that started the addiction, and it is The Little Green Men as Miguel from Coco. Isn't this adorable? Not only is the figure cute, but it's in an adorable rocket box with the claw in the background. It is so adorable. And it does come in a set 
it has five, and I was lucky enough to find the four out of five. So first there's Miguel, adorable. Then there's Mr. Incredible. I just love the different expressions on the faces of these little green men. This one's doing the superhero pose, love it. And then I got a Merida one. Look how cute! I mean, she's even got the, um, she, he, they, they've even got the bow and arrow in the hand and the beautiful red locks and it's so cute. And the last one is Sully, adorable. He's even doing a growl face in this one. The only one that I'm missing out of this series and the one that she's missing out of her series too is Buzz Lightyear. But I also heard, thanks to Brittany, that they're coming out with more of these coming up really soon. I think there was uh, a set of three coming out in July, a set of three coming out in September, and a set of three coming out in October. So pretty soon we'll be able to finish off the collection. And why wouldn't you? Look how cute. Oh. And that was the end of this video, guys. That was the end of all my vinyl figures. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that these start an addiction that I have for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, guys, but thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and leave in the comments below of what's your favorite Funko that I, or regular Ushi brand or Remix brand that I have. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.